up y'all so these pieces have been drying for two days and i wanted to show you what they ended up looking like so as i mentioned before these are done on our clear coaster they're shipped to you like this they have a coating on the front and the back it's just um it's not a coating it's like a masking paper so that it doesn't get damaged in transit. But the cool thing is, is you can take one side off and then pour on the other side and it leaves the back protected so that you can just um, have a super simple clean up the next day after your coasters or canvases or whatever sets up. So you just take one side off and pour on this side that you took off. The back side's protected with the masking that we haven't taken off. Let it set up, and then you remove the back of it. So we've done all of that with these guys, except for remove the back of them. So as you can see, the back of it is all gross because it's where the resins run off or I was handling it or whatever. And now it's time to set up to take the back of it off. So it looks like this now, but in a second, hopefully it will be amazing and clear and just a super simple cleanup for the back of these. And then I would put just like some clear bumpers on it. Not like it's gonna damage a table since it's just a clear plastic, but never know, some people like that. Some people are more particular than others, and that's perfectly fine. So that's what this one looks like. I guess it's hard to see because I have all this stuff here. What do I have? It's kind of trippy when it looks like it's on a white back, like. The background of the coaster is white and then you slide the background away so it looks like that even the back of it looks pretty cool huh so what you can do with these is either have them as um, an ornament like during Christmas or a sun catcher you can hang them in the windows because I used a translucent color on these, the sun will go through it and kind of project the color onto whatever's next to it. And I'm gonna see if I can recreate that for you guys. Also, once you get these, if you try to pull the, um, The masking off and there's the side it's like I don't know if it's gonna focus maybe not so it's got this rugged side that just peels off for some reason with these which I'm not mad about resin really easily peels off the edge of these but not off the top or the back so I'm perfectly fine with that let's have this guy set up See in the back of it's pretty cool. It just looks like waves crashing onto um, something. And the back of that one's not my favorite, but the front of it I can get down with. So I really want to just jump to this guy and see what it looks like. It's probably my favorite piece I've ever done on a clear canvas. Now the cells got as big as they did without stone coat base tint and the reason why that is is because I had done I think two paintings with this resin so I had mixed it up. It had been setting for close to two hours. It was probably five minutes from being not workable anymore. And so I had to use a lot of heat. It was already really thick. And 
that is why the cells got as big as they did. Now, if you're working with the resin straight through the two hour mark, this is a good like technique to use. But if you're gonna set it down and walk off and do other things, make sure you set an alarm or something so that you don't forget and waste your resin. I say that because I have done that. So just make sure you have a definite plan if you're gonna test fate and let your resin like set up in the mixing cup for a while before you use it or you're gonna be really disappointed in all the waste. Oh, I love it. It's like so simple yet super elegant. I love cells over like that invisibility even the white selling over nothing. That's one reason why you can tell it's not the stone coat white. It's because you have to have another color over it to create cells with stone coat. But with like just resins, titanium, or like color obsessions, um, snow white, or the white from um, Artisu, or the white from La Res, all the same. They work really well. I'm going to do a true color video of this one as well. You can see the teal in it, but it's a lot um, more pigmented looking in real life as opposed to on this camera for some reason. Yes, I want to do a huge one of this. So now it just comes down to taking the backs off all of these, which probably won't be that exciting to watch. So I might just fast forward this part. So I have this odd edge here, this sharp edge where the resin ran off a little bit. Just put a little pressure on it and it just peels right off. But it only comes off the edge because we created these with a right angle. So it, it isn't rounded, it's over. So that hard edge basically slices or perforates the resin and it just domes to that edge, slices it. And so it, it's not gonna peel all of it all the way off. I had a lot of leftover resin the last couple of days. So, so I have so many coasters. And I, I really am a big like advocate of not wasting resin. Obviously you don't want to because it's expensive relatively. Um, but beyond that, if you do like art fairs or craft shows or anything like that, take coasters, take big paintings for sure. You have to have something that like catches the eye of people and get them into your booth, but take coasters because a lot of times people can't afford big resin art, but they don't want to leave empty handed. So that is a great opportunity to sell some coasters. I mark these at $5 each, let people mix and match whichever ones they want. And I have paid my booth fees in just sales off of coasters. It's crazy. It's madness. I really like this one. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see through it because I used all dark turquoise for the background, which reminds me, the colors I used for these, if you didn't watch the other part of this, which I'm probably gonna just put together anyways into one video, um, dark turquoise and 008 or 007 and um, titanium from just resin.
Now, you can't see through it, but it's still a very nice looking coaster. I'm going to get organized and so fun. So I'm going to get organized, peel the rest of these off, and I will see you guys um, on the next video. I hope you learned something. I hope you were entertained. And um, I hope you have a wonderful day. You can find these posters and all these paints on our website, artistilldeath.com. If you have any questions, leave a comment below or shoot me an email, thorn at artistilldeath.com. Sometimes I get flooded and can't answer right away, but I always answer. Just be patient with me. We are a very small business of Jeff and I and then our awesome, awesome executive assistant, Amanda. So anyways... Be kind to one another. You never know what someone may be going through. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.